Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update. So uh, of course we had the big uh, Netflix uh, Geeked Week live event last night where we were expecting the uh, Avatar Netflix Avatar Season 2 news and we have now got it. Um, I'm going to say straight away I was a bit disappointed by the amount of information that there was here and um, they said there was going to be like earth shattering reveals. I felt like there was really only one thing revealed and it was the very expected thing that being that we have our actress for Toph. So you can see straight away here this is the news. Um, Mia Check will be uh, playing Toph in uh, Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, she posted about it on social media. You can see the kind of uh, Twitter kind of uh, reaction to this uh, here. And that's really it. Um, so, you know, there's a few quotes here in this. And then there's one other article that has some quotes from the executive producers. Uh, they just go over a bit of the casting process. Thousands upon thousands of people. You know, she was the perfect fit, of course. Um and, you know, they, they think she'll do a really good job. Like, it, it's the very standard stuff here. This is why I rarely get excited about casting announcements, because ultimately, I trust the casting in this show. I think they've got it right for season one. I think so far they've got it right here. A lot is going to depend on the writing and what is actually there from book two that they're doing in this version of book two, basically. Um... So, yeah, the, the official kind of character description they have for Toph is this, a master earthbender who was born blind, trained to feel and sense the world around her. Uh, very, very standard, basically. Um, they note that, okay, Toph is one of their favorite characters, so that should be good in terms of them doing her kind of well, because I think you can sort of tell that some of the crew probably really liked Zuko from season one, and that's why Zuko was done... And, and Iroh were done relatively well. Um, maybe not Katara as much. Um, so hopefully Toph gets some good treatment in the, in the writing department. Uh, and then we see a Czech whose full name is uh, Miyako. Um, appeared in all this other stuff. Which I've not seen before. You know I'm only interested in you know, her role here in, in, in Avatar as Toph of course. Um, there's, a, there's some comments from her here. Completely unique character. No one is like her. Um, she talks about her own kind of heritage and the honor of being cast in this role. Um, the other big thing they got into is just that sort of, um, they said, production on season two has started. And so one of the main things we sort of found out about here is, of course, that uh, she's already in the boot camp that they do, um, the actors who are the benders and doing the fighting scenes are doing to catch up, to get up to speed with sort of martial arts uh, style stuff here. Uh, and of course, Toph's movement style is sort of unique here. And we'll get into the little video that they have here. There's not even that much in that, ultimately. Uh, but then one of the key things that a lot of people have been asking about is uh, she will also be working with a producer and consultant who is blind and a professional from the blindness community to make sure the, the blindness community is represented appropriately. So again, um, when we heard about the, the open call for, for the casting for Toph, they mentioned that, you know, they... Um, what was it they advise or they're fully open to you know low vision or people who are blind um you know auditioning for the role um they obviously chose someone who uh, isn't blind or has low vision but they're bringing in like a consultant to uh, kind of help with that now it's one of those interesting things where like Toph has sort of you know because of her abilities has sort of like a kind of supernatural kind of blindness where like she technically she can see more than others but as i suppose a lot of the subtle details that they have like in the animation um about like sort of like when she talks she doesn't necessarily always like maybe like look at people that sort of thing um those details i guess is what they're trying to get right here you know she's a uh, she's a long time fan of the series um she wasn't told um, what uh, what she was vo uh, auditioning for initially. Um, she did a chemistry read with Gordon, um, and you know she doesn't even know what the full costume looks like, um, which is somewhat interesting because uh, one of the other things they they showed this was the kind of teaser ahead of time was just this it's like 45 seconds but the reality of it is is like five seconds of it are kind of interesting, uh, so it's just a big build up of like Earth, 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 and then we get the reveal that, okay, Toph is here. Um, 
So <laughs> they don't show the the full kind of character design here. You basically just get a sense for the um, the the style of her martial arts, and then yeah, we cut to uh, yeah the the season two logo if you can really call it that because they already showed like an earth 2 symbol before um now in production is the the big thing here so outside of that there's very little kind of going on here except these final quotes from uh christine boylan and jabbar raisani um, they're looking forward to working with the actors again and more complicated relationships as the journey continues. Uh, we're going to show the real world versions of iconic scenes from the original. And then this is probably the main, the notable thing to talk about here from the quotes is and explore some of the stories that the animation didn't. Uh, mainly, we're looking forward to uh, seeing our gang all together again. This throws up at least a partial red flag for me just because timing is such a big thing and it was such a big thing with season one the amount of stuff they skipped over in exchange for doing their own version of things and it worked in certain situations but it clearly didn't work in other situations and so book two is more focused but it's more focused once we get to the halfway point the start of book two is still sort of um you know organized quite similarly to season one so there's going to be some messiness uh, i guess with the early episodes to see how they how exactly they approach doing that and especially if they maybe are doing unique stories that they seem to be implying uh, the idea of like that the animation didn't cover like that are implied to have happened in the animation but weren't shown so like off-screen stories so i'm wondering if they mean stuff like say Suki might be a little bit more of a important roles so or we're going to track more of her story maybe do, like show little bits of like Suki alone or uh, something like that who knows um but that is the first thing of like hmm I'm not going to like really criticize this but if they only have eight episodes like season one um this I, I hope this doesn't mean as much as maybe I think it does and again, they just highlight that they're not really talking about it here. Um, you know, very general stuff here. And then they do at least a little bit of a teaser. Ang to learn a new bending form or two. I guess acknowledging the whole idea that he hasn't learned water either. <laughs> um, so we're going to have to address that in this season as well. Um, navigate a more tactile world. More complex and nuanced obstacles. Um, uh, yeah. They're going to grow them as uh, things go on. And we only have the one new actor here. That's basically everything that they uh, showed here. And again, they we've, we've, ha we've had this for a few months now. They have the season two logo. So um, I wonder why they didn't use it in the, in the video. But anyway, so uh, that is uh, everything uh, today. I don't know when the next update is going to be. I'm going to guess that we probably will start to get probably actor leaks like we did kind of before because that that's kind of what happened with season one is that we sort of knew ahead of time what, who a lot of the actors were going to be before they officially got around to announcing them and i'm assuming a lot of that is going to happen again i i would say to finish this off i'm pretty shocked that they didn't announce a single other character um i think that is a little bit odd i get it they have just started production i guess and filming is going to start next month but, you know, they have other time to announce a lot of this stuff, but I did expect more than just the Toph announcement here. I gotta be honest, it's not bad what they did here, but, you know, it's it wasn't as big as maybe I expected it to be. So, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, what are your thoughts on Mia Check as uh, Toph in uh, Avatar Season 2? And any of the stuff that came out sort of, like, in relation to this, which... Like I said, it's just a couple of things from these two articles, which will be linked below. But uh, other than that, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.